Now, it's to the Baltic Sea, where construction of the world's longest underwater rail and road tunnel is underway. The 18-kilometre passageway, due to be completed in 2029, will link Denmark and Germany. The 10 billion euro project crosses a stretch of the Baltic Sea known as the Fehmarn Belt and will have two double lane motorways and two electrified rail tracks. In our next report, you'll meet the people making it happen. Right now, it's not much more than Europe's largest construction site. On the coast of Denmark, 2,000 workers are busy preparing for the tunnel. It will consist of prefab elements like this one. They are currently undergoing testing. What makes these elements special is that they are poured as one piece. Usually we would first pour the foundation and the walls and the top. But here we are doing the whole segment as one piece. To better control any tensions we might otherwise encounter, we have to prevent cracks and make sure everything is absolutely watertight. The prefab segments will later allow for two tracks for trains and two roads for cars. Each one is over 200 meters long and 40 meters wide. They'll be built on land, lowered into the sea and connected at a depth of 30 meters. We know that digging here will destroy some reefs, but uh, not too many. We're destroying 0.05% of reefs in the sea and we'll plant new reefs elsewhere instead. And they will cover a much greater area than what we had so far. The Fehmarn tunnel is set to connect Denmark and Germany, running underneath the Baltic Sea. Passengers in cars and trains will see travel distances cut by 160 kilometers. Train trips will be two hours shorter. Our current traffic forecast says we will have 111 trains taking the tunnel route every day. And that is what we need to run this project profitably. As for cars, starting in 2030, we will likely have 12,000 taking the tunnel every day. On the German coast, construction only started in 2021. Lawsuits had delayed the project here, but now it's full speed ahead for a project that's been in planning for more than two decades. It takes a long time to navigate the approval process in Denmark and Germany, as well as the European dimension. We had to be really patient to get here to make sure that all rules, regulations and stipulations are being followed, both really on the German and the Danish side. In Denmark, they're currently working on the entrance to the tunnel, where traffic will be flowing in just a few years.